Duke still got Yusuf Al Hamidi edging this one. Seventh round, Murray, I think, to be sure, needs to win these last two rounds. He's had a really tough night provided him by this 30-year-old, the Syrian who lives in Dewsbury, Yusuf Al Hamidi. Well, I think Murray needs these two rounds big. I think he needs them big to hang on to his unbeaten, unbeaten tag. He finished that last round very strongly. And it could just be that the physical exertion of going in against the bigger man is starting to take its toll on Al Hamidi. Maybe. Murray trying to whip in the body shots. Trying to vary the attack more now. Murray needs a big round. You know, he needs to get his confidence back on track. But it's certainly not been a champagne performance. Oh, it's been He's very... had to grit his teeth. Yeah. He's had to dig very, very deep. Corner have done a decent job on that cut on his head. Almeida obviously feeling the, the, the pace of the fight. He's worked desperately hard. And it, as, he, as he starts to tire, Murray starts to take over. Well, Murray may be winning this round as well. But not particularly convincingly. I don't know if Murray's thrown a jab today. I don't, I don't think he's thrown a jab. He hasn't worked his jab at all. Well, if Murray wins this one on your card, Duke, this is the one which levels it up. Barry, having had him a couple of rounds ahead, would presumably have him further clear now after this one. Come on, come on. But Al Hamidi still in there, still with plenty of belief. Some suggested that he was just going to get blown away tonight, but it's never looked as though that was going to be the case. Murray not able to find the big body shots that Michael Gomez employed to beat this man. Ragged sort of round this one as Al Hamidi's tired. I know you're tired. One Yusuf. round, come on. One round. Here, Yusuf. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One round. You got one round in you? Here. Here. Let's show them what we've got out here. You've got it for one round, OK? Speed now. Let's see, let's see some class. Let's see some class this round, yeah? You know you can time up if you need well, to. Well, that's the words of advice from Chris Aston. Meanwhile, in here. the other corner... Guy, right the right upper corner. Here's Joe him Gallagher. Off, left up to the body, German, yeah? But you're walking and walking him down, but you're not landing nothing, they're overshooting. Right. Oh, and for Christ's sake, stop throwing that right hook over the top. It'll never land in him up for Sundays. Aim for the shoulder so he'll fall onto it. But if not, you'll hit the body. Jamie, right. last round now, you've got to walk him down, but you've got to come up, slip, slip, and look at the screw shots. Let's just oh. straight right hand downstairs to the body. Yeah? But he's coming towards you. Don't let him play now. Step back and nail him with an uppercut. Come on. Three minutes. Well, the two touch gloves. My reading of body language is uh, accurate. I would say that John Murray was looking pretty hacked off as he was getting those... Oh, good right hand! That's the best shot that he's landed, and that went right down to the boots of Al Hamidi. Good, solid, chopping right hand. Totally caught him off guard there, Hamidi. Murray chopped down the right hand, took his legs away, nearly got the knockdown. This round could be decisive, or will be decisive for me, as far as Murray's concerned. Needs to win it to get a decision. Al Hamidi, told by his corner, come on, you've just got to have three minutes of class. Come on, come 
Murray told that overhand right, you can throw it all day and it's not going to get there. It was a chopping right, though, which, um, which he employed to almost put Al Hamidi down. Looks as though he might have salvaged this one now, Murray. Al Hamidi holding on a fair bit. Yeah, and just looking to get through this round if he can. Really tired. Murray still forcing the fight, but walking on to walking on to punches, unfortunately for him. I tell you what, Duke, it's been a good fight. It's been an interesting fight, this. Very entertaining. You know, lots of give and take in this fight from both quarters. Al Hamidi trying to finish as the aggressor, trying to raise his work rate. The big shot came from Murray, but Al Hamidi's coming back. Well, Al Hamidi has no way disgraced himself as a last-minute re replacement substitute. Oh, no, absolutely not. I mean, I don't know what you probably know better than I do, what they get paid for taking fights at the last moment like this, but he's earned it, whatever it is. Given Murray a real good searching examination of his credentials. Referee scores this one, remember, Terry O'Connor, so he will just walk to the man who has won the fight. You'll have your own opinion at home. It's been a really good competitive fight as it moves into last 30 seconds. That's around the back of the head, and that is not allowed. I've got Murray winning this last round. Not by a lot, though. Not, not by a lot, just edging it. Well, who's going to get it? Final bell about to sound. There it is. And John Murray gets the verdict. There's a lot of booze around the auditorium. A lot of the fans here think that Al Hamidi won that one. Murray gets the verdict and he smiles happily, but a few hoots of derision from the big crowd. Murray comes across and congratulates Al Hamidi, who gave him a heck of a fight. Jimmy Lennon Jr. will uh, announce the scorecard in just a moment or two. And on my card, for what it's worth, I had it Murray by just the point. And same Duke McKenzie, close one. But here now is how Terry O'Connor scored it. Here's Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, after eight rounds of action, a referee in charge, Terry O'Connor, scores about 77 to 75 in favor of the winner and still undefeated, John Murray. Well, I think the boos of the crowd tell their own story. John Murray's won it, but goodness me, he had an awkward night tonight. And Yusuf Al Hamidi really came out of the blocks flying, gave a terrific account of himself, and the sporting round of applause now is for the beaten man, Yusuf Al Hamidi. John Murray, 24 wins out of 24, but a tough one.